Hi everyone, we are going to see how ChatGPT can help research scholars or a PhD scholars. So let me type, let me see whether it can help me to generate abstract for a specific topic. For example, I can ask ChatGPT to so generate generate the abstract for the topic. So I can tell my topic, okay, this is my PhD topic I have already completed. Okay, so I'm just going to type this for the topic systemic lupus erythematosus in uh, sorry, machine learning, machine learn. Okay, so I'm going to type machine learning to predict systemic lupus erythematosus disease. Okay, so I have just written this. I wanted the abstract for this. So it started writing systemic lupus erythematosus about the systemic lupus erythematosus. It also gives the uh, machine learning algorithm so what i can do that this is the abstract it has created okay so great so first one is we have seen that it can help us to create the abstract for this specific topic because in, if you know your phd topic or if you have planned your journal article topic you can just give that and know how it is exactly giving you the topic if it is if you want the clear abstract for example I wanted to write this okay <clears throat> so generate the abstract for the topic machine learning so uh, I am going to use the algorithm I have used if you have any specific algorithm you have already used I have used the classification the classification algorithm if you know the classification algorithm clearly you can specify see 4.5 classification algorithm and <clears throat> Uh, K means clustering uh, to predict to predict the disease. I need a clear uh, abstract. Uh, I need a clear abstract. Um, I have results. Results in uh, for the same. Okay. Okay, in this case, if you have results, for example, if you have 90, this shows a 90 percentage of accuracy. For example, um, the C4.5 shows the 90 percentage of accuracy. Okay, um, 4.5 shows 90 percentage of accuracy and K means shows 80.89.1 percentage of accuracy uh, give the comparative analysis too okay so if you want to be because since this is an AI okay you have to be very specific like what you are expecting in the abstract okay I, I need a clear abstract let me just rephrase this and I'm just giving this okay generate the abstract for the topic so yes so you have to be very specific okay like what are all because in our article we'll be in the article abstract we have to tell clearly that what are the uh, technique we have used it even if you are uh, in a different domain okay if you are in mathematics domain or if you are in chemistry or if you're in physics domain whatever it may be in the abstract you have to give very specifically okay so you should if you tell like what algorithm or what technique you have used then it will definitely help you in achieving the same okay give you a detailed abstract okay so i'm going to ask chat gpt that i'm going to write the article okay uh, my article topic is assist machine learning to predict to predict systemic lupus erythematosus Metosis. Uh, give me a, a perfect title okay I am writing that I am having this particular I'm going to write this thing so can you give me a particular title so it is showing me this title if I press more it will give me more title because it can since it's an AI is it can understand from the previous chats okay so it is showing accurate predictive modeling of systemic lupus. Yes. Can you provide a 
table of contents for the above article uh, so i am asking the chat gpt that it has to give me the table of content for example uh, so we are going to write the table of contents for um, uh, for any of the journal okay How, what are the things it should contain like introduction definition of systemic lupus erythematosus literature review okay this is giving me the thesis titles okay <clears throat> you can you can find chat gpt to give you the detailed uc if because if you are not uh, that much uh, okay with uh, the table of contents which you wanted to use it then you can definitely make use of this uh, this chat gpt okay so it will give you the table of content clearly okay so i am going to ask you uh, can you tell me the uh, title topics for syntax um, included in synopsis so in your synopsis okay so what are the topics which you have to include because you know that this is, is a complete version of your uh, uh, your uh, your research but synopsis is the overview of your research okay that is you have to submit it before two or three months of uh, submitting your thesis okay so what are the things which i have to submit for this particular synopsis so it is showing me that these are all the possible topics which you can create it for the synopsis okay so it is also telling you that this synopsis should be concise and to the point covering the essential aspects of the study while keeping it brief i am going to write teach me machine learning um in health uh, care sector machine learning used in healthcare teach me how machine learning uh, uh, is used is used in healthcare sector in very simple and and easy terms okay so i'm asking ai to teach me how machine learning can be uh, used in uh, healthcare sector so it is teaching me so it is showing the few examples along with a few examples like diagnosis how uh, machine learning can be used in healthcare sector so i am just giving you the overview like okay this is a completely based on my area of interest and my domain if you can just rephrase this for your domain for example if you are if you wanted to understand any theorem in mathematics okay <clears throat> so you can tell chat gpt to teach you that particular theorem in terms of any specific example or it can also give you some specific example in order to understand that particular theorem so uh, i am writing this you can just rephrase it and understand okay <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is it like whatever it it showed you is okay fine so i wanted uh, can you provide a quiz create a quiz Okay, so I'm asking it to create a quiz for the above context. Okay, so uh, it is creating me the quiz for the above context. Yes, so it is also creating. So this is also useful for education itself. Okay, so even if you are in an education domain, if you want to teach your students on specific topic, if you wanted to show some uh, quiz based on that, then def definitely you can use it for that. Okay. <laughs> fine so it is creating everything so you can learn and also you can explore whether whatever you have learned is clear i'm also asking uh, show me the answer i'm asking this to uh, uh, give me the answer for okay it is by default it is giving me the answers right so it shows the answer as well great so now uh, i am asking the wikipedia to oh, sorry i'm asking the chat gpt to summarize some context okay summarize summarize the content um let me see whether it can summarize something to me okay so i have given the open access this is from wikipedia okay i have copied something that is i have copied the link from the wikipedia and i asked it to summarize that particular uh, complete article to me so it is summarizing it to me 
so ensure that whatever the article which you are asking this to summarize that should be open article open article in the sense there should not be any sign login or sign up okay that should not be any uh, <clears throat> that should not be any uh, uh, that is uh, that is it should not have any specific uh, 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 that is a uh, firewalls which are protecting okay can you uh, okay so this is what you can also ask this to summarize the article okay can you provide uh, the references um the same thing okay wikipedia in mla style okay i'm asking this to provide the references in mla style and so let us see whether it is providing something for us okay so it is a, it is giving us in an mla style okay so uh, can you provide okay this is references from okay so it is giving me only the references of um, mla so i'm just trying to access some other website okay uh, can you provide the references from okay so this is an i triple x i triple thing uh that is i triple e so it is uh, providing me the references for the same okay author journal name conference so this is showing how you have to write the mla reference okay so it is showing the complete mla uh, reference from that particular article okay so i have copied my article and i am pasting it here and it is showing a general references from that article so you can write like this and final touch i'm just going to ask this chat gpt you behave uh, like python interpreter okay so i'm asking it to behave like a python interpreter um okay an interpreter you are going to show me the um codes to analyze the diabetes dataset um and show the um possible visualizations okay so i'm just going to enter this let us see what it is going to show me okay it is going to behave like a python interpreter and we it is going to show me the result okay so it is telling you clearly like how to analyze the data so you have to import this so whatever the data set you have you have to make it as a diabetes.csv and how to explore the data because since i have mentioned that i have to analyze the data set okay so it is showing you how to analyze the data set clearly you can see that it has imported all the necessary uh, necessary packages okay it is also showing you that these are all the packages which have to be imported everything the code generates the histogram histogram uh, for that is what are the uh, fields or columns it has to take for the histogram so already it plots everything okay so can you show me uh, create a prediction okay so i am asking it to predict okay i am asking it to create a prediction code for the diabetes so for the above thing so it is again started to predict it so for in order to predict that it is importing the <coughs> other uh, uh, library packages everything okay great right it has created the model it has created the prediction model with logistic regression so how it is actually predicting i can tell you that uh, this diabetes data set whatever is pre trained whatever the data which it has based on that it is predicting if you have a specific data set with a uh, specific fields okay you ca you can specify the column there okay i have a specific 
I have a data set with okay you can tell what are the columns you have okay with the columns you can specify the columns I want to uh, pre-process the data data uh, in R or Python so whatever it may be you can tell and you can also tell that uh, like uh, after this after once you get this please create a visualization for uh, create the visualization please predict the model everything you can tell okay so finally I can conclude that chat GPT can help the PhD scholars in order to create the text that is text generation it is used to uh, analyze data it also uses us to uh, create questions and answering that we have also uh, we have checked that and also on the research assistance but though giving you chat gpt cannot help you to give scopus list of scopus index journal why because the journal is always updated okay i can tell you like and i can ask uh, give me the list of scopus indexed um, journals in computer science okay so I'm just telling this to create a, a journal in computer science so it is showing me in the computer science okay but anyhow these are all not um, uh, these are all not permanent okay you all know that always Scopus index should be revisited okay they will always change it okay you cannot go and easily get the uh, list from here even if you just reframe this that if you need something it will show many things okay many scopus index in the field community it is always recommended to consult scopus database directly for the most up-to-date complete list okay uh, i am just asking scopus index free journals okay free journals in computer science let us see what it is showing okay okay again i think it is showing the free journals but you have to go and cross check copy this paste it and see how it is really working okay whether it is still in scopus what is the who is the publisher what how many uh, uh what is the promptness for the same okay you have to go and cross check this twice okay so don't blindly believe chat jpt gpt G chat gpt because uh, this is an ai okay this gives you an information whatever is there which are, which are trained to that but it doesn't know the latest information which are all updated in the scopus database okay so take care um let me know what are the other topics which you wanted to ask to chat gpt so that i can interact with the chat gpt and give you the better results so how to interact with that you have to be very clear uh, in writing the context to that okay take care bye bye